nail clippers. Oh, I've been looking for some of them. Maybe tomorrow it'll be nose hair trimmers. Hello and welcome to the Help I Sexted My Boss advent calendar. Normally this is a podcast where we help you navigate the challenges of modern life, but this Christmas we're releasing daily episodes up until the big day. William and I are your little Christmas elves helping you have a proper Christmas. We definitely don't agree on every Christmas tradition, but we've got plenty of advice and festive fun to bring to you over the next few weeks. I'm Jordan North, and with me right now is the UK's leading etiquette expert, Mr William Hanson. Hello, I'm more wrapped up with ribbon, you're more tied up with a dressing gown belt. Also, another article recently came out about a really the dressing one. gown belt. <laughs> <laughs> Under the headline, Jordan's secret love life and kinky past. I mean, it's hard not to laugh, but it equally... It never happened. It was a bloody <laughs> joke. And then when I was in the castle last year, you answered questions on it. You were my life for three weeks. <laughs> bloody... Didn't... I'm not even going to... What is the saying? Doth do protest. And the lady doth protest too much. Mm. Mm, yes. The people on tour might disagree. Oh, that was just fun on tour. Was it? You, Jordan, should we just tell people that didn't come to that tour? Yeah. You tied me up with a dressing gown belt. On tour, on stage, one of the sketches we did, I tied William up with a dressing gown belt. Every night. Every night. Including on one night in one venue where you pushed me so hard onto the floor, it actually cut my forehead. Yeah. Sorry. Because the venue was carpeted. And on one night, William's... I, like, put my foot on William's head. <laughs> you, you'll have to come along to that. I've never been. And I put my foot so hard on William's head, he left an imprint. Of his makeup on the stage floor. <laughs> yes. If you need help with something this Christmas, then we would love it if you get in touch. You can send your tales of Christmas trepidation, past, present, or future to help at sexonmyboss.com. Maybe you've got some funny Christmas tales to tell us. You can tweet us or send us a message on Instagram at sexonmyboss. Or if you want to send us a Christmas card, the address is on the website sexonmyboss.com. And of course, we would love it if you could tell a friend about the Help I Sex and My Boss advent calendar. The more people we can help to have a proper Christmas, the better. And before we get on to today's topic, it's time for Jordan's Christmas Cracker Joke of the Day. Jordan's little Christmas cracker. Now it's 3 0. Oh, have you rebranded? What, what did we call it yesterday? I can't remember. Right. Shall, I, shall I pull this? Yeah, right. you, you're winning. I am winning. Right, here we go. Not, oh, I'm still God's winning. Sake. Oh, nail clippers! Oh, I've been looking for some of them. Maybe tomorrow it'll be nose hair trimmers. Oh, nail clippers. It's 4 0 to me. Yeah, all right. I've just... never been so interested in a score. 4 0, 4 0, 4 0, 4 0. What is a skunk's favourite Christmas song? Um, I don't know. What is a skunk's favourite Christmas song? Jingle smells. Oh. Christmas conversation starters, here it says here. Get everyone to write down the silliest festive thing they can think of. Sorry, say again. Get everyone to write down the silliest festive thing they can think of. That's a lot of when you can't do Fs and Ts. <laughs> Example, these sprouts have got me trumping like a reindeer. And give it to the person on their left. Now try to slip your sentences into the conversation without anyone noticing. I mean, what? I'm sorry, but what degenerates write Christmas cracker inserts? What absolute weirdos? Do they actually have families and friends? I don't think they do. Stupid game. So you can send your tales of Christmas trepidation, past, present, or future. We've... These spouts have got me trumping like a reindeer to help at six <laughs> degrees. <laughs> so easy. <laughs> Um, now, today we're going to talk about Christmas trees. Yeah, oh, these sprouts have got me trumping like a reindeer. Yeah, you don't only have to say it once. Okay. Christmas, these sprouts have got me trumping like a reindeer tree. Yeah. <laughs> Any more? Just, you know what I mean, not one to milk a joke. No. Um, have you already put yours up? Yes, my tree is up on the 1st of December. The tree should always be up on the 1st of December. No. I am O. What? I am O. In my opinion. Right. Well, um... IRL, they shouldn't be up at okay. this early. 12 days before Christmas. I will normally I... put ours up the last weekend before Christmas. Oh, what's the point? Mine's up... For, I say the first. Usually last weekend in November, first weekend in December, and then it comes down on New Year's Day. Oh, on New Year's Day? Yeah, well, New oh, Year's... Now, that's, now that's interesting. New I... Year's Day, nah, 
Don't we it then? No, fifth fifth of December, fifth of January. Yes. Twelfth night. Normally around the fifth. I yeah. think it normally is the fifth. There's nothing worse than mm. going to work after the Christmas break and coming back on that Monday or whatever it is, and your tree and the decorations still being up. Okay. New Year's Day down. Did you your Christmas tree last year went floppy? Yes, it did, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And it shed. And you did have a real one last year, didn't you? Yeah, I got a real one. So tell us about your Christmas tree this year. I've not got it up yet. You haven't stuck it up yet? Yeah. Okay, why? But I will soon. Just need to get round. It's quite late for you. Mm, mm. It is. And is it real or is it fake? I've not decided yet. I got a real one last time because I live near a b and I think we've possibly found why it went floppy. Why? Because it's from b and Given the provenance. b and Q are great. They're not known for Christmas trees. I remember at uni, the girl I lived with was like, oh yeah, me and my father, we go up to the hills and we chop a tree down and then we take it home and we drink mulled wine and decorate oh, the tree. That's a bit much. And I was like, we just get out some Argos. <laughs> right. Gals from the loft. Yeah. Argos. Um, no, well, okay, well, it, I would go with real. What's wrong with a fake one? We're doing an outside tree, which we did last year. On and the I, garden terrace? On on the terrace, yes. Okay. I'm a great believer now in this because no mess inside. So you're not having a tree inside? No, also living in London, as we know, square footage is at a prime. Get a small one like this one here. I mean, what is the point? This uh, Can we actually, let's talk about this, because this has been sitting here... Looking terrible is since we real? started this ad. Is it real, did you just say? Yeah, it's got a log on the bottom, it isn't it? I, don't... Well, um, I think the log's probably the most real thing about that. This is a... How, how many inches would you say that was? Oh, um, that's your department, I don't know. Uh, 12, I, that's... That's bigger than... Tw- 12 inches? Uh, um, 20 inch? Yes, I'd say that's about a 20 inch tree. Oof. Do we have the official measurement, producer? No. Um, it's it's green, yeah. it's plastic, and it's wrapped with lights. Mm. Fairy lights, or as we call them in our house, lights. <laughs> and... <laughs> it's 24, you see, I wasn't, I wasn't too far out. 24 inches. 24 inches. Yeah. Do you... Right, so many questions at the Christmas tree. Star or angel? Star. Yeah? Because it was not... Uh, well, generally people that have angels called them fairies. Right. But it was a star that guided people to the inn at Bethlehem, not a fairy. Do you know traditionally why we have an angel at the top of the tree? No. So the Christmas angel went into Father Christmas's office. You know? <laughs> Did you not know this? Did you not, this is tradition why we have an right. angel. Right, yeah, it's all right. So Christmas <laughs> Christmas angel went into Father Christmas's office. Yes. So not, knocked on the door two days before Christmas. Santa's stressed. He's proper worked up. He's got Mrs. Claus getting on at him. He's got all elves getting on at him. He's stressed. He's like two days before mm. he needs to go out and deliver all persons. Knock on the door. Knock and on the what? On the door. And angel says, Father Christmas. He goes, what? I'm busy. What do you want? She said, where do you want me to put this tree? <laughs> and traditionally... <laughs> that reminds me of the joke. I've not told you that joke before. No, I don't know. I don't think you have. But there's a nice joke. She shoved it up her ass in case you didn't <laughs> Just... <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> the, uh, there's a joke. Uh, something like, you know, man goes into a Christmas tree shop and says, uh, oh, can I have this Christmas tree, please? And the man behind the counter says, oh, yes, you're going to stick it up yourself. So now I'm going to put it in the sitting room. <laughs> All words to that effect. Yeah. Nice. Um, and what, how do you decorate your Christmas tree? Because well, now that we do an outdoor tree, and I don't know if this is controversial... Only lights. Oh, okay. Is it lights first or lights last? First. Put your lights on first, check, plug them in first. Yeah. Then your tinsel, then your baubles. <clears throat> and then my mum's very particular about the Christmas tree. Does she have a theme? Yeah. And she like she's very like that doesn't go there. Did, right. did you ever hang the little sticks on the little walking sticks, the sweetie ones? The candy canes? Yeah. No, because they're American. <sighs> God. Sorry. So tell me about... I just feel that, you know, we should hang on to our idea. They're very patriotic in America. Why can't we be patriotic? Tell us about your perfect, ideal Christmas tree, then. 
a good quality non-drop Christmas tree. If you are going inside, we have an outdoor Christmas tree, so I don't, I don't care about the dropping of the needles. Not worse than a droopy Christmas tree. Exactly. Things go very droopy at this time of year, what with S- the drink and everything. <laughs> Saw off a little bit of the... Saw off? Yeah. Because then, other, then it ta- it's a bit like when you get a flower, when you get flowers and you're arranging them at home, you cut a little bit off the stem, this so it takes why in it's the water. too much hard work, and you've got to sweep up old needles and that. Just get a... F- so, or drill some holes into it so it absorbs the water so it stays buoyant. And this is why you don't put your real Christmas tree up too early because otherwise it will go floppy. Yeah. Whereas the, the brigade that put the trees up in November always fake trees That's because right. they don't go floppy. And are you right in saying like where I'm from, a lot of people have them in the front window so everyone can see them outside? Uh, well, yes. I mean, just put it wherever logistically works is what I would say. You, you're right. You're rubbing your eyes no, a lot. Just, you're stressing me out. Tinsel? N- nev- never. Baubles? Yes. <laughs> what does Sarah Hansen's tree look like? They now have white lights. They, I'll be honest, there was a brief spell in around 2007 where they were quite hung up on coloured lights. What? I thought, is that it? What's wrong with that? I, I, it's very retro. Let's role play that situation. Okay. So you were 17. Yes. And you came home and said, Why do we have coloured lights? Darling, we are going coloured lights this year. We want to spice things up. Why do you come home and complain when I am drinking, darling? Why do you do this? I am too stressed with your father as it is. I have not seen my boy, James, all day, and you'll come home and complain about the lights, darling. They are fine. I don't know where he gets this from, Brian. I don't know, darling. Go and get mummy another drink. I, I, you know you know, I find this time of year stressful, darling. There was a time when the tree fell down. OK. We were, we were standing admiring it, having it had been up for a couple of hours, and it just went... And smashed. Oh, mummy, the tree's falling down. That's my impression of James. <laughs> yeah. oh, it's not bit... that posh. Oh, mummy, mummy, oh no, golly gosh, the tree's falling down, mummy. William, father, mummy, quick, it's falling down, Christmas is ruined. Catch that every day on BBC Radio Bristol. <laughs> <laughs> Bristols. <laughs> it's BBC Radio Bristols, darling, it's very good. <laughs> yes. Um, so, no, I think trees, uh, you can tell a lot about someone by their tree. Can you? Yes. This if feels you... like a this morning segment. Oh, it is. I mean, it, I've done it. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. fine, yes. So what can you tell Vanessa about? Phelps last year had a beanie baby pink tree. That was quite common. It's cute. No. Each to their own. I told her as much. I can remember the... Uh, in fact, we did it, obviously, we were doing it on Zoom last year. And I was invited on to rate people's Christmas decorations. And just before we went live, Philip buzzed through and said, Are you ready to offend the nation, William? <laughs> I said, yep. <laughs> And thus I did. So tell us what else it says about your Christmas tree. Um, I don't like... I'll be honest, I don't like the concept of putting presents under the tree. I was just going to ask you that. Especially if, you know, there's electrics, there's water. Also, it's quite obvious where the presents are from a security point of view if you get broken into. Oh, that said, talking of presents under the tree, Mikey and I a few weekends ago went to Manchester to catch up with lots of friends. Mm-hmm. And we were checking into this hotel, and this was November, they had their tree up far too early. I did consider checking out, but we stayed. Couldn't get a resident. There was no room at any other inn. And oh, you and the, very similar to you and the baby Jesus. Uh, Mikey, and I, Mikey, baby Jesus, me, basically the same person. And we Also, they had three wise men visit him that night as well. <laughs> Ben's giving me a clap for that one. He stood up. <laughs> They brought loo poppers and cock rings. <laughs> Called Ryan, Bradley and Dominic. <laughs> oh! That's weird. Now you've just gone and taken it down a hot... That's weird. Uh, anyway, go on. So we were, we were standing at check-in, and check-in was taking quite a long time for various reasons, and uh, there was this woman decorating the tree, obviously a member of staff from the hotel, but she clearly, the spirit of Christmas had not started with her because these sort of fake presents that she was putting under the tree, she sort of kick into place under the tree. It was so Manchester. It was like kicking. So there was a thud as each present was kicked across the what, entire lobby. What, you're looking lobby. at? Do you not like my tree? 
What's wrong with your face? Just putting the tree up in it. So, uh, yes. Uh, so I don't like presents under the tree. Uh, white lights, tasteful baubles. You don't need to go with the colour scheme necessarily, but I wouldn't do every single colour bauble. I would pick sort of two or three and go with that. I have red London baubles. Red London yeah, baubles? Yeah, so I've got like red phone boxes. Taxis, okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's quite nice. Mm, gorge. Yeah. I have a Mary Poppins bauble. Do you? In fact, I think I have several because I think a few people... It's not really a bauble, it's a decoration. Mary Poppins is quite tr- Christmassy and on a whole, isn't it? It's always shown at Christmas. Oh, the, the, the film is, yes. Yeah. Yeah, the film often is. Um, the original film. The uh, I think it's g and actually. I think a couple, a couple of Christmases ago sent me a Mary Poppins decoration. I have several now, including one where you flick a switch and it plays Step in Time. What are you? Where are you with lights? Like flashy lights? Oh no! Just... I mean, what do you want? The epileptics dead? Have absolutely plain. Apologies to any epileptics that are listening. Well, no, for that. it's not apologies. I'm considering them. Yeah, fair one. Don't strobe. Don't this. This tree here is flashing. No, just a static. My grandma light. was epileptic. You sure? No, diabetic. <laughs> it's a different tick. What have we learned today? Um, that William doesn't like plastic common Christmas trees. It's not what Prince Albert would have wanted, and of course he was the first person to introduce the Christmas tree-ish to the UK. Do you know what a Prince Albert is these days? It's a consort to Queen Victoria. Oh, if you went into a tattoo or piercing shop and asked for a Prince Albert, do you know what it is? A little picture of Prince Albert. Why don't you Google it? I don't have my phone on me. Just Google Prince Albert piercing. Prince Very, Albert piercing. Yeah. And then go on to... Can't spot piercing. And then go on to... And then click on images. Some results may be explicit. No, that's That's stupid. what it says. No, just go on to images. Oh! <laughs> no wonder you're sitting funny. <laughs> Did you not know that was what Prince Albert is? No. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> I know. I don't know why you'd get why. A bloke once got him out at my auntie Mag's sixtieth. Actually, that was a bit weird. What? Um, we had a surprise party for me, auntie Mag's. Was he the surprise? And a fella. I think he. I can't, I don't, I've never seen him since. Which of your brothers was it? It wasn't, it wasn't. And he went, oh, I've got a Prince Albert. And we're like, no, have you? And yeah, and he showed us. I lost my glasses that night as well. Anyway. <laughs> Are they hanging off a of Prince Albert? <laughs> <laughs> what have you learnt today? I've learnt what a Prince Albert is. There you go. There you are. The fact if I never want one. Any g and Divas are... Also wondering what Prince Albert is, don't, don't Google it. NSFW. Not suitable for William. Not sa- Yes. Thank you. Not safe for work or not suitable for William. Um, OK, yeah. Uh, on tomorrow's episode of the Help I Sexted My Boss Advent Calendar, we're talking about buying presents. How many presents do you think I've bought, William? Currently, for all your friends and family, zero. Well, you'll have to wait until tomorrow to find out. Don't forget, you can get in touch by email, help at sexmyboss.com. Tweet or send us a message on Instagram, at sexmyboss. Good Goodbye. tidings. To Good you. tidings yes. to you and your kin.